Hi, I'm Rob. And we're from Project Mike, and we're here to tell you about Brickbox. Uh, our problem was collaboration. Uh, have any of you ever found yourselves in this situation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem allowing users to uh, interface with um, a document, allowing multiple changes to a document or a piece of code all at the same time. Uh, it's a problem that our uh, client, SolidWorks, also faced. Uh, they gave us the task of trying to make a 3D modeling environment using the Diamond Touch interface that could be used by up to four people at once. <coughs> and so the best construction kit that you could use, the most fun construction kit, was obviously Lego. And so we used Brickbox. Brickbox is a, a 3D CAD software specifically designed with multi-user collaboration in mind. Multi many people can be touching the table, moving things around with multiple gestures, gestures all at once, all doing things simultaneously. And we tried to make this as simple and intuitive as you use as possible. Uh, so I'm going to pass over to uh, Rob to explain how this works. Thanks, Ryan. So when we began designing our project, we split it into five distinct sections for the, our five team members. We started off with the low-level hardware, where we receive electric signals, and we detect them on the table along the rows and along the columns. Um, and these are all at different frequencies, depending on the pad that you're sitting on. Therefore, each user's input is completely independent from one another. Now, the gesture engine we created um, can distinguish between fingers, fingertips, fists, hands, arms, any combination of these simultaneously. <laughs> um, in terms of the data structure, we store a large um, structure of bricks, and we can do graph searches over all of these to detect uh, structures that are all connected together so we can move these in one go. Uh, we also made a save and load menu where you can save a screenshot of the model you've been creating and simply bring this up and select the one you've been designing and, and you can go straight back to constructing it. It's very intuitive. In terms of the 3D viewer, we used Java 3D. Um, this allowed us to create something within the time frame that uh, was quite complex uh, in practice. Um, for efficiency, we use backface culling uh, when inside Java 3D. Uh, geometry is reused between similar shapes. Uh, for aesthetics, we also added directional light. Um, one of the important features of this viewer was to detect what object was at each pixel on the screen. So we accomplished this by uh, projecting a pick ray into the 3D universe and just returning the first object that it sees. Now, the editor's job was to bring all of these different components together. We needed to in ensure that concurrency and consistency was held, and so we used semaphore synchronized locks in Java to allow up to four people to simultaneously move bricks around in our structure. Um, in terms of extra features, we allowed minority report touch, minority report like touch gestures, uh, which are extremely intuitive to first time users, including the now industry standard pinch mechanism to zoom in and out. In terms of the graphical user interface, we needed to make this intuitive so people could just sit down and know what they're doing. So we made a movable menu with large buttons uh, with no text on them at all, so you can just sort of sit down and, and understand what, your, what the menu is from anywhere around the table. So overall, we found that Brickbox, uh, anyone can sit down at our program, and as we've seen today, they can start editing and creating LEGO models instantly. So this means we, we met the criteria, we feel it's a fully functional program, but during development we've always kept extensibility in mind. Uh, one example of where we could go from here is the networking tables using RMI. Uh, so say some users here in William Gates could be working on the model, building something, while some other users here in the Bahamas could also be editing, seeing, seeing the edits that the other users are doing and editing simultaneously with them, wherever they happen to be. <laughs> Uh, another extension is that during development we had a PC version uh, which could just be used by a mouse, which is mainly used for testing. But this could also be ported to other devices such as the iPhone, say, so you could view models on the move, uh, possibly collaborate with some other one using the table. Or say you wanted to actually build your model out of actual Lego, well we could easily change it so we could export to .lxf Lego's official le uh, file format. This can then be sent to lego.com, we'll send you all the books you need to build the model itself. Uh, this was just a little program we made at the end. Uh, it can take a picture, uh, it will build you a wall of Lego, Lego bricks. Uh, each brick is actually an individual uh, colour. Uh, yeah. uh, so that's about it, that was Brickbox, thank you very much.